So uh, let's have a discussion on terpenes. Uh, terpenes are scent molecules. There's approximately 42,000 different perceived scent molecules in existence. Cannabis potentially might have up to 245 different scent molecules present. Most things have a single scent molecule, such as an orange um, would only have one, or a pine needle, high in pinene, single, single terpene. But cannabis being the unbelievably complex plant that it is, is extremely rich in terpenes. And because of that, it makes it difficult to understand how to categorize and classify how we look at cannabis. And people try to do it off of some of the major terpenes like pinene, limonene, myrcene, carophylline. But those become words that don't explain clearly how to look at it. And so what I tried to do is I tried to come up with a more interpretive format to, to look at cannabis, to simplify it so that one can understand basically how do we break up this massive 42,000 group into a simpler group. And I break it up into a, basically a group of four, and we could even break it up into a really simple group of two. But we break it up into fuel with a subset earth and fruit with a subset floral. And using those four terms, we can basically describe any scent and smell combination in cannabis. And it actually allows us not just to describe the, the scent and the smell, but also the effects. And so with, with earth cannabis, typically those would be things uh, such as Bubba Kush. But those are varietals that have um, uh, high in alinalula, uh, uh, relaxing, earthy. They, they, they traditionally f make you have a more sedated, uh, uh, calming effect. We go into things that are, are fuel, that's typically more pinene dominant. Um, those are more energetic, racy, uh, euphoric, um, have an ability to give you anxiety. We go into fruits and typically um, limonenes, and what we have is uh, uplifting, energetic. And in florals, we have a variety of different components, and florals are really where we have, I would say, some of our most c complex reactions to cannabis in terms of um, uh, feel, haze exists in those pools. And so you have these unbelievably uh, strong responses with people to it. If we, if we allow those divisions to break up, it lets us kind of choose cannabis from those choices to satisfy our requirements. And, and an example would be when I want to do my own outside legal six plant grow in California, I can choose to have two plants of what I use most, which in my case would be an OG, which would go under this pinene. And then I have a couple of plants that are uh, Hollywood, which is a, a, a very type earthy kush, which goes more under the earth tone for more sedative. And then I have a beautiful floral and a fruit. And so the fruit uplifting and the floral more contemplative. And it allows me to have a collection of cannabis that I've produced for myself that covers these different ranges that lets me have these different experiences and effects. And it makes it kind of simple to understand and how to share the information or to describe to somebody why you liked it. I think a lot of the, the problem with cannabis is that because cannabis has maybe 240 terps, or you know, over 150 or so cannabinoids, it might be the most biologically, uh, chemically active plant in the entire plant kingdom. It makes it very difficult to start to understand all the interrelationships between these. And we start to use numbers and scientific names and the reality of it is, is that we rarely ever see the picture clearly. And so even though we know how many are existing potentially, we only see snapshots. And so the science is really not as accurate as we would like it to be. And so in some cases, the generalization is actually a more accurate term to describe. And then once we find something that we like, we can have lab analysis, take a look and help us understand better what's inside it and why we like it. But a lot of it is for us to understand how do, we, how do we know what to do? And a lot of it is just through olfactory ability, meaning that you have to trust your sense of smell. It's connected to the back of your brain in a very unique situation where it's unbelievably tied into the oldest, most primal memories. So your sense of smell is crucial to you. Um, it allows you really to pick things that are attractive. And what you can find is that some people have very high attractions in one of the four categories. Some, some like cannabis in all four. The main point is that you'd be able to find within any of those things that were attractive more or less so. And it would allow you to be able to have cannabis to help you fit specific situations. So when one wanted to relax, when one wanted to energize, when one wanted to contemplate, when one wanted to sleep, when one had body pain, you'd be able to basically source and sift through this in a really simple manner so that it wasn't such a complex decision on how to get to where you want to go. 
So terpenes, many of them, but really we can kind of break it up into four.